If you do it correctly and you don't mess up, I got I ended up with that, although you might have something like a little bit different. Um, so do some do, do some people have this or at least something more or less like this? Yeah. You may have like tried to get a common denominator, but I don't necessarily Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, I'm gonna put this in a box. This represents something very important. What is this, Rohan? In words. What is this weird algebraic expression? It is the uh, exact area underneath the curve. Agree or disagree, Gus? Alice disagrees. It's close to the exact area. What is it actually? It is an estimation. It's an estimation given what? Yeah, but even before I even before I do anything like that, um, I can still give some meaning to this, right? Here's what this expression is. This expression is the area under this curve as approximated using RM with exactly n rectangles. So this is this is the this is the RM. This is the um, well. This is the right um, right approximation. Uh, using n rectangles. So if I, now that I've put in all this effort to find the formula in general, if for some like weird reason, like someone suggested that we do six, right? Whoever you were um, 20 minutes ago was like, oh, let's do it with six rectangles. Well, all you have to do now is put six in for n. If you put six in for n, that will be the area under the curve as approximated by six rectangles. Um, those of you who said a thousand, um, I could plug a thousand in for n. If I plug a thousand in for n, that will give me the area under the curve as approximated by a thousand rectangles using a right endpoint approximation. But the more bold among us who wanted to use an infinite number of rectangles, what do we do? Take a limit. Take the limit. So yeah, if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of this expression, then what we're doing is we're essentially letting the number of rectangles go to infinity. And um, what do we end up with? <laughs> what is it? I mean, some basic like skills are required. We did this in basic. We did this in What's up? What's this? Wait, is this hard? I thought this was easy. This is nine because this is that's like twice. This is like twice that, right? Yes, that's like two. And then this is like yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is nine plus The exact area underneath this parabola between x equals 1 and x equals 4 is 24. Okay. <laughs> this is the greatest thing in the entire world. First of all, this is great. Second of all, um, it's sort of surprising to me that it turns out to be just like a nice number, like 24. Mr. Rose. Um, what? I don't know what's with that, actually. Um, another thing we might comment on now is um, what if we use the left, uh, what, oh, should we stop? Yeah. He's going to stop for a second.